In this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about being a spiritual seeker or a dedicated spiritual seeker and having lots of people in the world say, you need more balance in your life. Now, the thing, um, the thing with this is actually uh, those who seek spirituality, those who want to realize the nature of the true self, their enlightened self, their authentic self, and are really dedicated and devoted, um, often will not seem to fit in that well, uh, you know, at work or at the local football club or at the, the local gossip club. Uh, because they'll say you're spending so much time pursuing your spirit, your spiritual pursuits, that you should stop pursuing, you know, stop spending so much time on your spiritual pursuits, and you know, make sure you have time to play football, and make sure you have time to watch EastEnders, and make sure um, you know you see a movie every now and then, and and don't you know it's unnatural to be really dedicated to spiritual work, so. Uh, so I, I know a person who faces this and thinks they're wrong for having this strong inspiration to just relentlessly pursue spiritual work and to grow and find it difficult to be around people who say you need more balance in your life and you shouldn't be doing so much spiritual stuff and you know you should be watching more TV and football and um, you know you should, we, you should join in all the gossiping. So uh, for me, uh, this type of thing doesn't affect me. I'm even okay to be around people. If people want to talk about football, I mean, that's okay, because I can see that's where they're at. You know, they, they're at a level of consciousness within the collective, and most people are, where, you know, TV, football, um, all these pursuits that the ego enjoys seems to be what you need to do to have a balanced life. And anyone pursuing a lot of spiritual work or heavily into it, see, you know, is called odd or needs more or needs more balance in their life. So, to dedicated spiritual students, I say, you know, totally ignore this word of balance, because the truth is the truth, and actually, most of the world is an illusion. Most of the world is an ego. Uh, the ultimate um, there is an ultimate inner realization if you keep pursuing, for example, A Course in Miracles or self-inquiry, the teach teachings of enlightenment. And often there can be a, um, a fire in the spirit to really pursue this with dedication, which is actually a very positive sign. So don't let other people distract you, because they are distractions from pure dedicated spiritual work. And in fact, you know, those who have attained the highest levels of uh, spiritual growth in this world have been amongst the biggest blessings. Um, Buddha, Christ, Krishna, you know, Buddha, you know, theoretically could have been like, Buddha was like meditating under the tree and became an enlightened teacher, and yet, if he was in today's society, everyone would tell him to get more balance in his life and stop meditating so much. And uh, his mother would probably tell him to get a job and stop sitting under a tree. So you get these kind of attitudes for people at lower ego consciousness levels, but you totally ignore it because those who pursue the truth are, pursue are at a higher level of spiritual development. And just because the majority of the world is an ego um, doesn't need, mean that you need to be hooked in and, and, and believe them when they say you need more balance or stop pursuing your spiritual work.